The Doppler effect is the change in frequency of sound or light waves as they leave the source. In this tutorial, we will create this mind-boggling effect by distorting text in Photoshop. Hi, my name is Laura Kyung and I am a design writer, mentor, and entrepreneur with 12 years of design experience. This is how to distort text in Photoshop. For this tutorial, we will use assets from Envato Elements. There, you can find awesome fonts, print templates, photos, and other assets to use with your projects. If you're running out of time, using Photoshop add-ons can help you. This awesome Doppler effect from Envato Elements is developed for the non-pro designer. Choose from different gradient maps and wavy backgrounds. Make a few clicks and you're all set. So let's get started. For this tutorial, you will need this image, the cool millennial girl, and the font Demner's Chronicle. Install the font, download the image, or use your own assets, and be sure to check out Envato Elements for more options. So let's start by setting up a Photoshop file in a landscape poster. Create a new document and set the size to 297 by 210 millimeters. Set the resolution to 300 dpi and the color mode to CMYK. Let's click Create. To add some margins, go to View, New Guide Layout, and in this new window, check the margins box. Set all the margins to one centimeter. To organize the layers, head over to the layers panel, click on create new group, name one group background and the other group foreground. Now let's create the poster background. On the layers panel, click on create new fill or adjustment layer, gradient. Click on the gradient swatch to change the colors. Under gradient type, set the left color stop to 2616F and the right color to DA2E34. Click OK. On the gradient fill window, set the angle to 35 and you're all set. Select the gradient fill layer on the layers panel and head over to filter, stylize, tiles. Here on the warning window, click on the Convert to Smart Object. Here, let's set the number of tiles to 10 and the max offset to 10%. Under Fill Empty Area Width, select Background Color. Click OK. Go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. Set the angle to 50 degrees and the distance to 222. And while selecting the gradient layer, press Command-T to transform. Here we want to resize this slightly so the layer goes over the edge of the document. Go to the Layers panel and click on Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer, Solid Color. Double click on the swatch to change the color and set the color to black. On the Layers panel, set the opacity to 30%. Let's go back to the Layers panel, click on Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer, Gradient, and on the Gradient Fill window, set the style to Radial. Click on the swatch of the Gradient Fill, and on the Gradient Editor window, set the Opacity Stop Location, the top swatch, to 50%, and the Color Stop to 25 Click OK. And now let's collapse the background group because we're done with that one and let's head over to the foreground group. This is where we are going to create the Doppler effect. Press T to select the type tool and click on the document. Add Rhythm of the Night. On the Options panel, set the font to Damner's Chronicle. Set the size to 115 points and place the text right at the center of the document. Drag the cool millennial girl image into Photoshop. Press Command T to transform. And on the options panel, set the horizontal and vertical scale to 65%. And here we can fix the position of the Y axis to 1500 pixels. On the layers panel, right click on the image and select create clipping mask. This will be the main text that will be completely legible. Select the image and the text layer. To select both, click on one and then hold command and select the next layer. 
Drag both layers towards the Create New Layer button to duplicate the layers. Select the text layer and click on the Add Layer Mask button. Press Command T to transform and move the layer slightly above the original text. Hold Shift to maintain the same Y position. Select the Layer Mask thumbnail. Head over to the Tools panel. Select the Gradient Tool or G on your keyboard. And to create a Doppler effect, use the Gradient Tool so we can fade the text. Drag from the very top of the text towards the bottom. It can take a few tries, so use Command Z to undo until you find the desired effect. Select the duplicated layers, the ones that now include the layer mask, and right-click to select the red tag. Select the duplicated layers and duplicate them five more times. Now select the very top layer uh, on the Layers panel, that is the Text layer. Press Command T to transform and try to align it to the top margin. Select all of the text layers, including the original text. Press Command to select multiple layers. Head over to the Options bar and click on the Distribute Vertically button. Select the original image and text layer Duplicate both by dragging the layers towards the new layer button. Select the two image and text layers that are at the bottom. Right click and let's tag this with green. Select the text layer with a green tag and press Command T to transform. Place it under the original text. Select the text layer and add a layer mask. Let's go again to the tools panel. Select gradient tool or G on your keyboard and use the gradient, but this time at the bottom. Select the green tag layers and duplicate them five times by dragging towards the new layer button. Select the bottom text layer and press Command T to transform. Drag it towards the bottom margin. Select all of the green tag text layers, including the original text. Head over to the options bar click on the Distribute Vertical button. Now we can collapse the foreground layer by clicking on the folder icon. If you're not happy with the colors, you can always use the Create New Fill or Adjustment layer. I am choosing here Brightness and Contrast, and I am adjusting until I find the desired result. To save the Photoshop file, head over to File, Save As, and select the format from the drop-down menu. Save as a PSD so you can edit the file in the future, and you can select JPEG if you want to print the file. To export the file for web, head over to File, Export, Save for Web, and make the necessary adjustments under Image Size. Click Save. And you're all done! In this tutorial, you learned how to use layer masks, proper layer organizations, and adjustment layers. With this, you will be able to create the Doppler effect and apply it on typographic posters. Be sure to browse Envato Elements. There is an amazing library of fonts, photos, and templates that can speed up your projects. From all of us at Envato, my name is Laura Kyung. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.